What up vlog? How we doing? We are on the way to Miami right now, going on a little cruise. Celsified. What flavor did you get? Oasis vibe. I got the fantasy vibe. We have our two special guests in the back. We have Miss Lena. Then we have Mr. Bam Bam. Hello. All ride with us. We're going on the bananas cruise. But today, can you tell me what we're doing? Uh, today, 20 questions? Yeah. Okay. I didn't really fill Tanner in on this. This yeah. is just a last minute vlog idea because we're not going to have time to shoot this week. So, we're doing 20 questions. Molding the hero! His second walk off of the night! Bananas win 5-4! So, if, you, if you're new here, um, Tanner and I, we do vlogs every week. Um, we play baseball. I'm a musician. I got two tortoises. <laughs> two tortoises. And uh, yeah, so yesterday I put on Instagram that we're doing 20 questions. And um, we got some questions on a poll on Instagram, and so we're gonna answer some of them. So stay tuned because you might be featured. Since uh, Sanders driving, I'm gonna be reading them off. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. From the Rebecca Davis. How did you guys become roommates for the tour? Should we just both answer them? Like that? We can try, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I, how do we become roommates for the tour? Okay, well, I guess it kind of starts with how we joined. Um, I mean, for, what was it, 21, 2021 season? Yeah. Um, I didn't know too many people on the team. I knew some of the guys from the college team, but I knew Christian Deerman. Mr. Electric, and I reached out to him whenever I was going to go to tryouts for the Bananas slash Party Animals, and originally I was just going to stay for the tryouts, um, and I was going to do school at the same time, uh, so I made the team, and I was going to do school also, and after making one trip, uh, I decided to just... You know, keep staying in the place that they're staying at. And Dalton, so it was Dearman, Dalton, and I for supposed to be one weekend ended up being uh, two months. What was this? I think three was this? months, yeah. For three months, stayed on an air mattress in a nice little uh, shared a room, pretty much. Yeah. I remember Dearman was like, shout out, Dearman. Dearman was like, hey, can my friend Tanner come and stay? Um, this week we're gonna he's gonna try out and he make the, if he makes a team like he'll probably come stay on the weekends for the games I was like yeah that's fine uh, so then Tanner may end up making the team and then uh, and then basically instead of staying every week uh, Tanner just ended up staying the whole time so yeah I wouldn't go back to school no so we had three people in a one bedroom apartment and that's a uh, you know but it worked out great it really did and then Tanner and I lived there in the same apartment last year yep yep all right good question Question one, now. I'll show you a quick video of our room. Here's what it looked like. <laughs> Got a little room here. All right. All right, question number two. From Hope underscore 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 Tolan. What was your first thoughts of each other when you guys first met? <laughs> You yeah, but it? our first interaction, you should say. <laughs> okay. I'll do my POV, your POV. Okay. Or my POV, okay. Um, well, I remember, so the day Tanner showed up, coming back to that first question, Tanner shows up, uh, Jeremy's like, yeah, I have a friend that's going to come through, and he's going to come stay the night, whatever. So I was currently uh, sitting crisscross applesauce on a, on a bed up, up, up on, like, a shelf making necklaces. Uh, like, one of them. I had some song coming out. I don't remember what song it was. Uh, what song? That's how it goes. What's, uh, yeah. 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 Cue that's how it goes. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I was thinking an episode of that's how it goes, and then Tanner walked up. I don't. I mean, I think you have a better POV than. No, I just do. say yours. Just say yours. Uh, do you not remember? No. Okay, I got it. All right, all right. All right. It's, it's so it's my first time showing up, like day before tryouts, and. Um, it was, was it Dalton and Dalton? Oh yeah. It was Deerman's buddy Dalton from home and then Deerman, obviously teammate Dalton right here. And they're all in the place. His buddy, other buddy Dalton was trying out also. And so shout out other Dalton. But there's a lot of Daltons in the organization. Uh, anyways, I, 
I, I go upstairs to where everyone was staying for the night. And uh, Dalton right here is sitting crisscross up sauce on, I guess it's a day bed. Yeah, he is a day bed. Making necklaces. So introductions are going around. Jim was like, hey, this is Dalton. Played on the tour last year. Uh, whatever. So then I was like, oh, what's up, bro? Um, is this like your thing? <laughs> <laughs> is this your thing? Like, this, is this what you just do? And he was thing? like, he was like, what? I was like, necklaces, bro. It's like what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the, the beaded, like pro necklaces, that, you know. <laughs> the the trend now. What, what we got all on? Yeah. The bracelets on. The bracelets and necklaces. And... Yeah, it was just funny. And he was like, no, I'm a musician. I was like, oh, that's sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I remember Tanner goes, uh, Tanner goes, yeah, he's like, you got, you got a cool vibe. What'd you say? You're like, I like your vibe or something like that. <laughs> I like your vibe. Yeah, Tanner's like, yeah. I like your vibe. I like your vibe, dude. I was like, yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, it was funny. It, it was. That was funny. What was the question? First, first impression of each other. Oh, first impression. Yeah, first oh, okay. First, yeah. yeah, so I guess I like Dalton's vibe, you know? Yeah. And Tanner liked me, so obviously I'm either I liked him because of that. They won't be like me, I like you. Alright, next question. Question three. Do it again. Question three from Sydney Todd Hunter. This is for Tanner. Tanner, is there anything you miss about Virginia Tech? If so, what is it and why? Also, go Hokies. <laughs> go Hokies, first off. H is silent. Um, anything I miss from Virginia Tech? Yes. Uh, so, the campus is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I do. I still have the team vibe, obviously, with teammates and just brotherhood type stuff. But the actual landscape of Virginia Tech, like the mountain ranges, um, but I don't miss the cold. Um, it snowed a few times. I've shoveled the field a few times. Uh, I wanted to go to a school where I can root for them forever. And they were a school that believed in me, and I believed in them. I bought all the way in um so yeah i mean just overall huge Hokies fan now and they treated me well and absolutely loved it so the landscape the atmosphere of virginia tech was awesome too it was very home vibe and yeah they treated me really well up there and i love it I love virginia tech so i miss it all honestly but you know it was that time i do wish it was closer too so it'd be easier to get up there but yeah go Hokies. great answer Okay, question four from Dr. Megan Wolf. If you could make one wish come true, what would you pick for each other? For Ooh. each other? Wow, she I got one. All right, you started it. Let's start off. Um, I would wish that Tanner gets a million subscribers on YouTube. That's a, that's a big number. That's a million? That's a big number. Two million. Yeah, that's up to y'all. <laughs> Subscribe. And then, yes. <laughs> Subscribe to Tanner. I wish that Dalton, one of his songs, what is it, the Billboard? Top 100 Billboard? Is that what it is? Oh, that'd be big. That'd be sick. That'd be big. That's also up to y'all. Classic record. You, you just want it on Billboard or you want it number one? Might as well go number one, go bigger, go home. And stay there? Or just, or well, just touch mean, the top? I mean, you gotta get there to stay there. So at, at least get there. And then we'll work on it. Is that what it's called? Top 100 Billboard yeah. or whatever? Yeah, that's it. Question five, right here. From Heather Hinman1432. What states, cities were you disappointed to see not make the list for 2024 season? Well, personally, on the party animal, is Nashville. Mm. I'm not going to Nashville, and I'm not going to Washington, D.C., the Nationals Park. Uh, it's my team. I'm upset about that. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Those are two? That's my two. Um, I, I really liked California last year. Actually, um, I really liked San Jose a lot. Really? Yeah, I thought it was cool. It was like a... Okay. San Jose was cool. San Jose and Rancho, I really liked a lot. There were two smaller stadiums. Um, but I like this one. The smaller stadiums were a lot of fun, too. Uh, but the weather was just really awesome. And it was like a really pretty sunset, good vibe there. The mountains, 
the mountains at Rancho were unreal. Um, I'll show you a picture. Here's here's a picture from that game. Now we're back. Now, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really miss those two. Maybe. Um, maybe what else? Um, oh, Portland, Maine. I would like to go back to Portland, Maine. I like Portland, Maine a lot. That was cool. Honestly, I know it was also another smaller stadium in Cooperstown. I just thought that was super cool. Oh, yeah. Cooperstown was awesome. Go back to Cooperstown. All right. Question number six from Marissa.bo3. What's the most average thing about you? The most average thing about yeah. me? Yeah. I, I don't know why I said average. Average thing about you. Um. Shit. hands in the infield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's why I'm in the outfield now. I can probably find a video of Tanner uh, booting the ground ball. I'll probably throw one in there. Give it to me! Whoa! Mm -hmm. Is this glove? Yeah. It's not mine. <laughs> Tough. I'd say most average thing about me, what? Literally the one where you're filming behind me and it just goes right through me, right at you. Like, yes. Whoa. Right, right through your legs? Yep. <laughs> Okay, infield work. Uh, infield work for Tanner. Okay, uh, I would say I would say dancing, dancer. I'm I'm the very most average. I, I will say this though that Tanner did teach me how to do the juvie slide yesterday. A very Come average on. juvie slide. Very average there we and, go. It, and it works. We're gonna get better. Yes. We're only one day for them, two days down for me on the juvie slide. We're gonna be pros by the season. Yeah. yeah. So um, look forward to see some juvie slide content coming soon. <laughs> All right, question seven from Peyton Alio. Favorite thing about each other? Putting you on the spot. It's the, the the courage. I know he's done it before, but the courage to dye his hair. I can never. I can never go. I ain't. Yo, yeah, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Um, and honestly, the courage to shave it too. That I can't just go all the way long and then just. Can't never do it. No, no shot. That was a random one, but that was random. <laughs> I'll say I spent this on Instagram the other day. I feel like anytime, anytime I'm like, hey Tanner, you wanna go do something? He go, he'll go, yeah. And I, I'd be like, hey Tanner, do you do you wanna go do jumping jacks on top of a semi? He'd be like, yeah, let's do it. And, and we'll go do it. So <laughs> Juby slide on the semi. You ever want to juice? Yeah. <laughs> Tanner's, Tanner's very down with spontaneous stuff, and I feel like I'm very much so spontaneous. And um, Tanner's as well. So We get zoomies. Get the zoomies, yeah. I mean, I, it could be 11.30 at night, and I'm like, hey, Tanner, you trying to drink a Celsius? He goes, yeah. I'm like, all right. I'm always down. Always down for a Celsius. So, same wavelength, you know what I'm saying? All right, question eight from G Warren 5611 make it a question for only Tanner. Who's your favorite banana? <laughs> it's messed up, man. Um, it's not because it's split. <laughs> split. Yeah. <laughs> um, top of it. It's okay, you don't have to answer. You don't have to. I feel like I do though, just because. You have a favorite? A top favorite? No. How do you answer this safely? I don't, I don't think. The ones that are edible? Mmm. Mmm. I'll take a banana pudding. That's a good answer. That's a dang good answer. That's a good answer. Oh, uh, Sam, who's your favorite banana? Uh, so it'd be just banana pudding? New character. <laughs> All right. Okay. Question nine. It's Lindsay ninety eight. Do you and Tanner plan on doing some DDD videos next season? She just she's nimming. She is. It's a nim. <laughs> Short for acronym nimming. Uh, okay. I do. Cause why not? Right. Yeah. Might as well. It's fun. I think I think next year we have opportunities to do Dion Ditch videos at a higher quality. You know. Um, you know, we can do them on the phone.
phones. Phone, phone cameras are getting better. Um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get some good mics. We're gonna be a little more incognito. Yeah? We'll get more creative. Let's see, I'll, we'll show you guys Ding Dong Ditch video real quick. Watch this. We're gonna Ding Dong Ditch our teammates. Banana, party animal style. Let's go. <clears throat> I heard a noise. Run. Okay, so yeah, you yeah, know, that's some of our best work there. Um, but we're just gonna get better, and we're gonna get we've been caught a few times, but we're gonna get better at it. And honestly, that was one of the spontaneous nights, and that's how it began. So, yeah, plan is more ding dong dish videos. Okay, question number 10 from Chloe Lynn. What's your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? We'll go with Rocky Road. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Um, my favorite, this might sound weird, but pistachio. Y'all had that? either pistachio or lavender ice cream that's my favorite but uh, they don't have lavender so I would definitely say pistachio it's gonna take the gold for me you have that all right I'll have to try that it's good and if you haven't had it try it it's good okay question number 11 from Ashley Weber who is the messiest I consider myself a pretty clean person yeah Tanner is pretty clean I think I'll answer this. I think that I think I think I'm the messiest because I feel like I have the most stuff always. I feel like yeah. I always I always pack the most stuff. I always keep the most stuff. I'm just I'm just not a big I'm not a hoarder, but I'm not, I just, I just I'm not a hoarder, but I definitely don't like to throw away a lot of stuff. Um, but I try I still try to store it. I feel like like. My room in general, I'll let it get messy for like two or three days, and then I'll clean it all up. So I don't like it. To, if it's gonna be messy, I don't like to stay messy, but I'll clean it up, and then eventually it'll start like getting a little messier again, and then I'll clean it up again. But I would say I'm the messier one. Yeah, we're really not messy at all, to be honest. Like, mind you guys, we had to, we were living in a one bedroom apartment. Like, in, it was literally one room. Yeah. Everything was one room. We had a little half wall between the living room and the bedroom. I guess it's all, like, so we didn't have room to be messy. Kitchen, living room, bathroom, sleep area, entertainment area, yeah. music area, rappy area, all one room. All one room, yes. All right, question number 12. We are more than halfway done, you guys. From St. Clair, 1899. Buy this for me here. Uh, Dalton, top three songs you released, and then for Tanner, Favorite thing in memory about Virginia Tech. So, sure. All right. mm, top three songs I've released. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, How'd You Keep Her? I like that one a lot. Okay, I'm gonna say, How'd You Keep Her? Oh, that's tough actually. All right, How'd You Keep Her for one? Um, Miss You, Love You too. Three would be Let It Die. So the, the, that was in order? 
Yeah. Or was that just like three favorites? Three, that was my top three I released. Either my favorites, yeah. Do you want to answer that? Not really, no. Well, okay. Cherry just Lime's number scary. one, straight up. That's all I need. Cherry Lime? The Cherry, Cherry Lime? Why right, y'all, the GoPro got too hot. So, back at it. Question number 12. Tanner, favorite thing, memory about BT? Oh, yeah. I didn't, okay. So, favorite memory from BT is probably Inter Sandman uh, on the football entrances. We did it with every sport, but the football entrance was the most prominent. Take an exit 193 on to Stanford, uh, take an exit. Yep. That's where we are. Uh, but yeah, Inter Sandman for football. Uh, we did it with all sports, like I said, but football is definitely the most prominent and entertaining and gets crazy. Uh, you should throw in a quick clip of entertainment. Okay. Can you send me that? I can find it, yeah. Alright, here's the clip. Alright, then. Top three songs, Let It Die, Miss You, Love You. Alright. Top three songs for me. Let it die. I miss the drives down 98. Okay. Miss you, love you. I miss you, love you, thank you, love you, hope you. Okay. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, see you when I see you, get to know you. Question number 13 from Shania JC, 1997. Coolest thing you've gotten from a fan? I'm going to answer this one. Um. We got, let me think. We've gotten a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so I don't know if it's like the coolest thing, but one of my favorite things, I got a bracelet to track a shark. And I actually, so the app is called Follow, F-A-H-L-O. Hold the camera so you don't lose it here. Um, so anyways, the app is called Follow. And you get a bracelet and then you, you like type in the QR code or, or scan it and then you get a pet shark and then you can watch where the shark goes. Or turtle. Or turtle. Tanner got a tur turtle or tortoise? Sea turtle. Tanner got a sea turtle. And actually, sadly enough, um, my shark died. You know, you gotta see. <laughs> or you could lose the tracker. Could have just lost the tracker. Or it died. Or um, eaten by a bigger shark. Or got eaten by a bigger shark. Yeah. So it said, I don't know if this is, I don't know if it happens or not, but I mean, it is, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy world out there. So it does happen. Sharks do get eaten. Um, so anyways, mine, mine told me like, Hey, we had to restart. So instead of Babu, I got a different shark now. Um, and I don't even know its name right now, but I'm not invested into this pet yet. So I gotta, I gotta get more invested into it. What do you got? Um, I think, I don't know, dude, there's been some cool stuff. I know in this off season, um, which I don't know if you know this, but I had a P.O. box and someone sent me a box of Maine. So it was just a bunch of different things from Maine. Yes. It was coffee grinds, uh, like beef jerky, um, like a postcard. Like it was just a bunch of different things from Maine and I thought it was super cool. The coffee grinds were really good. Ended up finishing that one really quick. But yeah, box of Maine for me. Cool. Yeah. Good answer. Second, I'm trying to... We're getting some food real quick. Pit stop really fast. Eating some Duncan. Yeah. Life so sweet. Oh me, oh my. All right. We ended up getting some Subway. The way of the sub. Way of the sub. The only way. Back at it again. Okay. Question number 14. Chelsea Brooke Collins. Okay, this one's just for me. If you had... Actually, no, it's not. If you had one chance to sing with someone, who would it be? Usher. Usher. Straight up. Usher Raymond. I would say Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's all I could. Yeah. My bad. JB Bieber. My bad for being so predictable. Here we go. Question 15. From Leon Elnet. What was your dream job as a kid? I'll say besides baseball. Okay. That was a good one. Good one. Um, thought about being a dentist. Not gonna lie, but if it wasn't baseball, if it wasn't dentist, honestly, I think it was a football player, even though I didn't really play. <laughs> so cool though. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, I always want to be a baseball player for sure. Um, but then in high school, I always like fish. I always like sharks and stuff. But in high school, I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe marine biology is my, my go-to. And um, so I used to want to be a marine biologist. 
not actually want to be one because I want to be a baseball player, but that was like my backup plan just in case. Self-taught marine biologist. A self-taught marine biologist. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's what that's what I wanted to be. We're gonna continue that question. Could you see yourself ever be pursuing football next? Next? Yeah. No. Well, as a kicker, maybe, but that's it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so can you kick a football good? You saw me hit a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 25 yard. First try. You're standing kicking a football, I think. I think I have that clip. Do you? No way. You do not have that clip. I don't know if I actually have that, but either you guys just saw it or you didn't. Next question. Is this 16? I think so. 15? Yeah. Question 15 right here. Wait, what? This is 15 here. I thought he already did 15. 15 was the football player slash fisherman. I thought. Numbers is not my thing. Question number 16. One more to go. From Kanan. Hold on. Kanan. 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 Would you rather have fingers for toes or toes for fingers? Fingers for toes or toes for fingers. Definitely fingers. Right now. Don't you dare say it. I want, I'd rather have fingers on my toes. Okay. All right. I thought you were going to say the other way. I was like, no. don't you dare. No, that's useless. I'd rather have fingers for toes because, for one, I don't want to shake anybody's hands with toes. You know what I'm saying? And also, I feel like I get more grip on my toes. Yeah, yeah. You know, then it's just a whole nother, it's just a whole nother dynamic to your limbs. Then you'll be faster that way. Slower. Longer toes, slower. You'll be able to fly through trees like a monkey. I mean, it's great, slower. better, better agile. Yeah. More, great, great more agility. Yeah. Good question. What question was that? 16? Yes. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if, if, okay, if you're watching this and you say you'd rather have toes for fingers, Check yourself. All right, question 16? 17. Question 17, here we go. We took a break and now Dolan's all over. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scattered brain right here. Okay, hot, yo hot yogi girl. What is the armband Tanner wears? Is it decorative or helps with something? Thank you. It's You're just welcome. a hair tie. Why do you wear it? Uh, so I have another one right here on my wrist. And all it was on the other one, it just got like I've lost some of the elasticity. whatever makes it elasticity. Yes, uh, so it just widened out, and it's still a good hair tie. So I just pulled it up a moment. That's it. <laughs> Nothing to it. Might look cool too. I don't know. Another good one from Kane and Gwen or Kana Kana and Gwen. I think it's Kana Hagman. I think it's Kanan. Kanan, if you're watching this, comment or Kana if you're watching this. We need to know this. Um, could Jack have fit on the door with Rose in the Titanic? Could Jack fit in the door? Fit but, on the door. Fit on the door? Whenever at the very end of the movie, whenever she's like, uh, Jack, yeah. Jack, you know? I think I think so. I think if you really wanted to make it happen, you can make it happen. Yeah. I, I, and that's life. Yeah. You know, how bad do you really want to do it? You know. It's you can squeeze through doors if you want. Yeah. Or on to door. I think I think they could have fit four people on that door if they wanted to. Could have saved ten lives. Yeah, could have saved way more lives. Yeah. I think I think Rose was hogging that door the whole time. <laughs> so and I, I think that she Yeah. I, I think that she he could have easily I think Jack would have easily survived, would have easily have been able to talk about that till today. What question was that? Question number eighteen from Mikiso7. Mikiso7. What makes you mad slash pet peeve? Have y'all ever fought or had an argument? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that balanced out perfect. That was nice. Um, mad or pet peeve? Yeah, I got some pet peeve. Wait, at each other? Is that at each other? Or just overall? Maybe just in general. So run, a, run a couple up. In general, um, I hate. There's two pet peeves that I got. That I can think of. 
One, people smacking when they eat. Drives me nuts, just like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, straight up, smacking. And two, when someone's like, oh, I gotta tell you something. And they're like, ah, never mind, never mind. Oh, that fires me up. <laughs> I might just say it. You already got this far, just say it. Already there. Yep. I'll say my pet peeve is uh, chewing on ice or hard candy in a quiet setting. That's messed up. I don't like that one at all. I chew on ice all the time. It started in seventh grade. I remember I was in science class. This kid named Mike was going to town on some hard peppermints. Heard a text. So is that involve just hard stuff? Like chips? No, chips are fine. Okay. Chips, are, chips are just chewy. So stuff that's not meant to be chewed. Yeah, like don't chew a sucker. Don't chew a lemon head. But you gotta chew at some point. Don't chew a Jolly Rancher. At some point, you gotta chew. And towards the end, yeah. You, you have five good chews and that's it. Okay. If you can't get it down in five, don't chew it. I don't like, I don't like litter bugs either. Litter bugs, don't litter man. Don't the trash can. Oh, have we ever fought or had an argument? We have one debate. Oh my God. I don't even want to get into it. Just say it. So, uh, go ahead. Dalton and I's debate was if <clears throat> you could hit a ball farther slash harder with a longer, heavier bat or a lighter, lighter, or a smaller, lighter bat. <laughs> a lighter, lighter. That was Whoa. it. That was the debate. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can answer this in the comments. We're not going to get into it. But it's, yeah, exactly what Tanner said. Could Do you think you hit a ball, baseball farther with a heavier bat or a lighter bat? A heavier, longer bat or a lighter, shorter bat? Yes. Which one do you think? No, no, don't worry about we'll that. Off, <laughs> don't worry. On your strength. We'll Talk go off. We're going to no, go no. off camera. We're not. No. Don't tease us. Next question. Number 19. We have the answer. All right. Um, from Angela Wright's 87. Day in the life during the season. How chaotic is it? Well, funny you should ask that, Miss Angela, because we have yellow card. Because we have vlogs that come out every Sunday, and a bunch of them are baseball vlogs, and they're pretty much all the behind the scenes of all of banana ball, like with banana. I do bananas, he does POV of party animals. Um, so if you wanna see how chaotic it is, it's very chaotic. Game days are more chaotic than any other day, but yeah. it's all about time management. Exactly. Our games are at seven o'clock, we get there at like 11, and we don't leave till 11 or midnight. So yeah. pretty long days, but they're a lot of fun. The very last question, and we're done here, from Hannah M. Marie. Do you and Tanner ever practice dances together at home? Only when we do a TikTok, and as of recent, the Juvie Slide. So I'll say yes to that. Yeah, I would say we do. Um, Dancing is a big part of our career, you know? You gotta work on the moves. I feel like if you want to be a really good banana ball player, or if you want to be a pop star, you gotta know how to dance. So, Straight we do up. that. I'm trying to be a pop star. Pop star, not a doctor. Is that it, dude? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, 20 questions, you see it. Uh, if you want us to do this again sometime, you know, we got a long, next 10 months together pretty much so put in the um, comments put in the comments like yeah if you like this if you have any other things that you want us to do as far as like vlog wise um because we're gonna be doing a lot more like personal vlogs too as well so um yeah this is fun this is the first one we've done where we like we just did, did questions kind of spoke more about us and whatnot this is cool though yeah um so yeah y'all we're about to go on a little cruise for a week so this vlog should come out on time as long as there's Wi-Fi on the cruise. If not, we'll hit you on, hit you on, uh, oh wait, we come back Friday. Soon. Yeah, we come back Friday. Yeah, it'll come out on Sunday. We'll see y'all on Sunday. So thank y'all for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you think, if you like it. And y'all have a good day. And we'll see y'all next Sunday. Wait, you want to say anything? Peace out. Peace. Say bye, y'all. Subscribe. Peace. Peace. Like, subscribe, everything. Million, sub million subscribers. Top 100 billboard. Yep. And here's a sneak peek to a new song. Peace. Life is sweet like honey. You can't take that from me. You gotta wake up, smell the roses under your nose. That's how it goes when you're not in a hurry. You forget.
your world. 